Hello, I'm Glenn Toby. I'm a Spring Far Chicago master and a psychotherapist. The focus of this talk on longevity, this series, is a specific focus on higher vibration. Now remember, longevity is about wanting to live a longer time, not for the purpose of just doing stuff, but so that you can study things so you know more about who you are, and that takes a period of time. So with this focus on higher vibration, I'm going to touch a little bit on death and dying. Now in religion, religion has an explanation for creation, who created you, and it has an explanation of what's going to happen to you when you die. That's okay. It gives people a belief system. That's just fine. This is a little bit like in between kind of, you know. So when you think of like karma or forgiveness, clearing the karma in your body, why would you do that? In order to have a higher vibration inside you. Why would you let go of forgiveness? Things that somebody else did things to you or that you have done to others. Why would you let go of that for a higher vibration inside you? So you're living at a higher vibration level. What's the importance of having a higher vibrational level? Your energy is pure. You know, the access to the energy is more powerful. So the higher the energy that you can go, you know, the stronger your, your energy is, the creative energy within you. You find out more about who you are and what's going on. So if you, if you look at that, kind of clear the karma, get rid of the forgiveness, you're living at a higher level. Why would that matter? So in, in Spring Forest Chicago, we spend a lot of time really accessing, calling on our master's energy, Jesus' energy or, or Buddha's energy or Lao Tzu's energy or all those you know, high masters that have this high, pure energy, this unconditional love energy. So they, they used to live and now they don't, but we can still access that energy, that pure energy, because the work they did while they were still alive. So how can we also be like masters? You can you know, let go of the karma, things we're holding on to, whether it's for karma or forgiveness or making amends, all those things that create that lower vibrational level inside of, in order for us to exist in a higher vibrational level. So a little bit I say that, you know, I have a granddaughter, a young, a young granddaughter. I would like her to access my energy after I have died. She can still call on Jesus, she can still call on Buddha, but someday she might want to say, Papa, Papa, you know, and, and access my energy. Now, if my energy is not very pure, then it's not going to be a very good reason to call on Papa. You know, so you might have all have a Uncle Louie or Aunt Marie or, or some neighbor where, oh boy, you wouldn't want to call on their energy, even while they were alive, let alone after they have died. Yeah, that negative energy too low. But if I can work on my vibration level so that other people while I'm gone can access my vibration level so I can kind of hover, maybe not at the Jesus level or the, you know, the Buddha level or things like that, but I can hover at this level that can have people can call on me. I wonder what Glenn would say. Well, I wonder what, I wonder what. I wonder what some of your friends would say about you. So the accessing this higher vibration by letting go of the stuff that you hold on to is really a part of long, longevity. The power of longevity. Live long enough to clear your energy as much as you can so you're at that higher vibrational level. Ah, uh, you can understand who you are even better. Think about it. Thanks for listening.